Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 5th, math chapter number 5th, fraction problem set number 22. We will be completing in today's video. So in this video, we are going to study about addition and subtraction. Now these sums we have already studied before also. This is going to be the revision. If you all haven't watched my previous videos, link of all the videos related to this chapter is being given in the description box you all can go and watch it so let's start with the first question that is addition of the fraction 1 upon 8 plus 3 upon 4 so the same method i have taught for the addition problem set which is supposed to be i think 20 the exercise so same method i have taught same we are going to repeat it in today's video as well so 1 upon 8 we will keep it as it is because over here we can multiply 4 with 2 and 3 with 2 so that we will be able to achieve 4 2's are 8 at the denominator's place and 3 2's are 6. So if you all haven't watched it, this is going to be a quick revision for you all. We have to first utilize the denominator in such a way that both the denominators are same we have to find the same denominator then only we can proceed towards the addition so 1 plus 7 is going to be 7 upon 8 so this is your answer let's move on to the second one and that is 2 upon 21 plus 3 upon 7 so same method i will be doing over here 2 upon 21 we will keep as it is because in 7 stable we are going to achieve 21 by multiplying 7 3s are 21 so 3 into 3 because we have to multiply numerator and denominator with the same number so 2 upon 21 we will put is equal to sign everywhere you'll have to add is equal to sign so plus 3 3s are 9 7 3s are 21 when you get the denominator equal then only we will be able to add the fraction that is 2 plus 9 10 and 11 so 11 upon 21 let's move on to the third sum that is 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3 now both the numerators and denominators are different these kind of sum we have already studied we will multiply 5 with 3 and 3 with 5 so 2 into 3 5 into 3 why we are doing this step so that we will achieve the same denominator so 2 3s are 6 5 3s are 15 plus 5 1s are 5 3 5s are 15 so now the denominator is equal we can add it so 6 plus 5 is going to be 11 upon 15 all right now let's move on to the fourth sum 2 upon 7 plus 1 upon 2 again we will multiply both the denominators with each other that is 2 into 2 7 into 2 plus 1 into 7 2 into 7 both the numerators and denominators you have to multiply with the same numbers so 2 2s are 4 7 2s are 14 plus 1 7s are 7 7 2s are 14 4 plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 upon 14 is your answer. Let's move on to the fifth sum, which is 3 plus 3, 9 and 5. So over here also same method we will do. That is 3 upon 9 plus 3 upon 5. Uh, we will multiply I will multiply it in the next step into 5 into 5 plus 3 into 9 5 into 9 all right now just the opposite numbers we have multiplied it with each other so that we will get the denominator equal 3 5s are 15 5 9s are 45 3 9s are 21 5 nines are 45 now both the denominators are same so we can write it in one term so 15 and 21 6 and 3 so 36 and 45 is your answer if it is getting reduced then only reduce it or this answer is also correct now let's move on to the second question which is 
subtraction. I will just show you. So this is a subtraction thing that you all have to, uh, that we are going to study, not you all have to. We have to study these questions in the same pattern as we have done the addition. So first one is 3 upon 10 minus 1 upon 20. So 3 into and 10 into. So 20 we can achieve by multiplying 10 with 2. Then we will keep the first fraction as it is. 3 twos are 6. 5 twos are sorry 10 twos are 20 minus 1 upon 20. When the denominator is same we will subtract it. That will be 5 upon 20. Agar reduce hota hai, do it. Nahi aata hai, keep it as it is. So this can be 5 upon 20. 5 1s are 5 4s are. So your answer is going to be 1 upon 4. Okay, even this answer is also correct. And if you are uh, reducing it then and solving it, then also this answer is going to be correct. So let's start with the next question which is 2 upon 4 sorry 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 2 so 3 upon 4 we will keep it as it is 1 and 2 multiplied with 2 so that we will achieve the denominator so 3 upon 4 1 into 2 2 twos are 4 so 4 3 minus 2 it will be 1 upon 4 Okay, now the third sum, 6 upon 14 minus 2 upon 7, 6 upon 14 we will keep it as it is, 14 we will achieve by multiplying 7 with 2, so denominator and numerator same number, we can multiply, 2 2's are 4, 7 2's are 14, so this is going to be 14, 6 minus 4, 2 upon 14 now over here this answer is also correct if you all are going to reduce it further 2 ones are 2 sevens are there and your answer is going to be 1 upon 7 even this answer is also correct so you are going to have both the answers correct okay if you all are not able to reduce it keep it as it is if it is not easy for you all to solve it but i think it is uh, understandable that we can reduce it with a table of 2 now the fourth one is 4, 6, minus 3 and 5. Now both the numbers are different. So we will multiply uh, the, this side with 5 and this side with 6 so that we can achieve the equal denominator. So 5, 4s are 20, 6, 5s are 30, 6, 3s are 18, 5, 6 are 30. So this is going to be 30, 20 minus 18. Now, if you all are not able to do it orally, solve it over here only. So answer is going to be 2. Okay, which is understood, but still I am telling you all. So 2 upon 30, this answer is also correct. If you all are reducing it further, 2 1s are 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10. So it is going to be 1 upon 15. Next is <clears throat> 2 upon 7 minus 1 upon 4. So 2 7 into 4 into 4 minus 1 into 7 and 4 into 7. So 4 twos are 8, 4 sevens are 28, 7 ones are 7, 4 sevens are 28. So 8 minus 7 and 28 over here so this is going to be 1 upon 28 so i hope you all have understood the problem set number 22 if while solving is there any problem do let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye